City Guy in the Country, DIY today. We have a couple of things we're gonna try and knock out, namely this window. What I'm gonna try to do is this. I need to move the couch out of the way, obviously, but I am going to trim this window out with the three and a half inch uh, MDF trim that we've been using throughout the rest of the home. And the window sill is a bit of a trick, so we'll have to kind of figure out what I want to do there, and I may or may not regret it, so we'll see. So I'm gonna get a few things moved out of the way, like the couch and some other stuff as you stare into my nipple. Sorry about that and we'll get right to it. So let's get some couch moved and get some tools moved around and I think this is probably a good time for some time lapse. So I just discovered something very disturbing. Check this out. Uh, since the last couple of months I painted this, look at this freaking crack that's formed here. What in the world? Look, look at how much this thing moves. And I don't know if that's, if there's a draft coming through there or not. Look at this crack. So that goes that way, nothing in the middle, and then it's starting to do it over here too. And I didn't paint this that long ago. My goodness, I don't even know where the set screws are for this thing. If anybody has any idea how they mounted this, let me know in the comments. That's really, really bad. How did they even mount that in there? Add it to the list. Golly. Yeah, that'll be interesting to say the least. Mm, always something. Okay, back to the other thing. So, made some progress, gonna knock off this stuff for today. I have some stuff I have to do on the computer, but let me just show you a little bit of what I got done. Got this baseboard put on here and here and this long run here, and then I cased out the main window that I'm concerned with and the run over there. Uh, window sill, I just lopped off the ends. I'll sand that down a little bit and fill in some putty there, and we'll do that. You will see, let me, let me rephrase this. You are gonna see a lot of gaps and nail hole filler and wood filler and caulking on all my jobs. I am not a carpenter. I don't have the skills, equipment, or experience to make this thing super pretty. Guess what? Most of your DIYers, they don't either. That's why all of their camera scenes from their projects are far away. I'm not scared of a little bit of gap. I'm not scared of that. I'm not scared of that. I'm not scared of that. I'll fix it, it'll look good. If you follow along, I'll show you how to fix it, or at least what I figured out. This is your permission to try, this is your permission for it not to be perfect. Don't leave it looking crappy, but dang, it's okay. Caulking and wood filler is okay. Let no one shame the caulkers and the wood putties, okay? I'm with you. I love you very much. Please have a good day. Spread the love, spread it forward, tell somebody else you love them, Let's let's make our spaces better, man. Yeah, let's do this. See ya.